Hello everybody, it's Torrent here from Weepy Gaming, and welcome to another installation video. Now, if you've been subscribed to our channel for a long time, you would have previously known I have done another video on Mob Disguise. Um, I've decided to come and revisit it, because my last video I went over briefly over everything, and I'm going to go in a bit more in depth on the creatures you can turn into, uh, more of the configuration file, and the permission notes. Now, since I've last visited uh, Mob Disguise, there's been a hell of a lot more changes. Uh, you can obviously turn into a load more mobs, uh, one of the most infamous ones is the Ender Dragon, which is probably going to be the most fun one to play as, and he's added a few more features as well. So first of all we're going to want to do is download the plugin, of course, uh, here on uh, Bucket Dev. Uh, all links will be in the description of the video. Uh, you're going to want to put your jar in your plugins folder, and I shouldn't do that. So once you've downloaded the file, just copy it into your plugins directory, which I've got here, and start your server up. And it should say mob disguise, loading mob disguise, obviously. Uh, config one will not found, it will make one of the default values, and obviously by the author. So we're going to go on to hop into the plugins folder, and into our mob disguise folder, and to the configuration. So within the configuration file, we have the blacklist, which is the entire list of all the different creatures you can turn into. Now, if you have magma cube as true, that means you'll be able to turn into one. Uh, if you just want to stop people from turning them into them in total, just put false and people won't be able to turn into magma cubes, pigmen, cows, etc. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you've got all of the different mob types here. Setting them to true or false allows people to turn into them or not. Pretty simple. Um, there are different permission nodes if you want to turn off certain permissions for certain mobs. I'll get into that later though. And the next one here is the permissions. Uh, enabled or true, that'll make it look for a permissions plugin. If it doesn't, it will give all of the default permissions to an op, which is the standard for most plugins these days. Disable item pickup, if you leave that on, uh, when you're walking around as a different mob, you won't pick any items up that people have dropped or you've dropped yourself. Obviously, that make, gives you away because mobs don't pick up items. So if you put that as true, you're not going to be picking up any. And here's a new feature, real drops. Now, when you kill a zombie, obviously it gives you rotten flesh. If you're going to be walking around as a zombie and you don't want anybody to... When, when they kill you, you don't want your sword dropping, for example. If you turn real drops on... Uh, when someone kills you as a zombie, you'll drop rotten flesh, or as a skeleton, you'll drop a bone, etc. I think that's a really cool feature that they've added. I think it's a good thing of this plugin. So uh, that's it for the configuration. I'm just going to go over the permissions quickly. So give me two seconds. Okay, so here we have the permissions, and it has a list of the permission systems it supports, which is permissions bucket, B permissions, and permissions X. But it does not support permissions 3.1.6. So the first node is mob disguise dot star, and that gives the player the ability to transform into every single mob and every single command, etc. Uh, we have then mob disguise dot mob type, and you replace the mob type with the certain mob you want people to turn into. So, for example, if I only wanted my players to turn into a chicken, I do mob disguise dot chicken, and that's the only mob they can turn into. We then have mob disguise dot player, which allows people to turn into other players, such as I don't know Sam Kyo. So if I only wanted my players to turn into Sam Kyo, I'd put mob disguise.samkyo. Very simple and very effective. So I'm just going to go into game and I will show you how this plugin works effectively. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, we're now in game and I'm going to show you a few examples of how mob disguise works. So the first command you really want to, want to do is MD for mob disguise. Uh, and we're going to type zombie for example. And it says you've been disguised as a zombie. So if I just do it over here. And there you go, uh, the play over here has been disguised as a zombie, and I can move around as a zombie, and like that. Uh, let's try again, let's do MD Creeper, we are now a creeper, as shows. Uh, let's do MD Skeleton, I'm now a skeleton, we can do MD Ender Dragon, which is probably the best one. So you can trick all of your friends to being an ender dragon, which I think is pretty awesome. So that's it really for the creature commands. Um, they're not. All you have to do is type obviously MD and then the creature name, so chicken for example, which I can do here, MD chicken. Now I'm flapping about as a chicken. Uh, you can do MD pig obviously. Uh, to undisguise yourself when you're disguised, you can do just MD and says you've been changed back to human form. So to disguise yourself as other players, which you can do, uh, you just type MDP and then the name of the player. So for example, I'm just going to turn myself into Sam Q. It says you've been disguised as player Sam Q. 
So if I do on this one, MDP Samkyo, you can now see I'm Samkyo and I'm running around with his skin. And as you can see, I can talk as Samkyo, so I can put I am a noob. There you go. So I'm running around as Samkyo. Hello everybody, my name is Samkyo. <laughs> um, we can turn into anybody who has a Minecraft account. So for example, we do MDP, we can go to Notch. Turn ourselves into Notch there. There we go. I think everyone who's ever used Mob Disguise has done this before, turned themselves into Notch. It's pretty much the uh, way everyone does. Uh, there are a few more commands. So the other one is MD Stats, which brings up the current stats of what you are. So I'm currently disguised as playing Notch. If I just do MD, obviously get turned back to normal. Um, the very last command is MD Types, and it shows the different types of mobs you can turn into which as you can see are creeper skeleton spider that's the blacklist you have in your configuration file if you put false to any of these they will see disappear so i think that pretty much covers it for my revisit on mob disguise um, this plugin is probably the, one of the best plugins you can find on any multiplayer server it is the most fun it's got multiple uses for role playing elements to you know, spying on griefers because it's just a little chicken walking around it's a fantastic plugin you can obviously turn yourselves into other players um, i think it's fantastically done and I hope you guys download it and enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, see ya.